ladies and gentlemen, Heat Death Survival Train, the demo. I don't think there's an early access thing we can buy for this yet, so I'm assuming the demo is probably here to stay around for a little while, but looks to be a sort of just an open world survival type thing where we're using a train that we have to mm, fix up or build upon. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. I assume it's like a Vulcanoids type thing where we get like a basic train and we're sort of building up and and beginning it to explore further and further into some sort of a frozen wasteland of some form and gather up materials and it's like a mix between Vulcanoids and Raft in a way I suppose in some ways. I woke up in a lab hooked up to machines and wires not knowing who I am or where I am. The lab was silent and empty. I stumbled out of the building into a frozen wasteland. No life, no warmth, no hope, just snow and rocks. There is a train track, the only thing that seems to lead somewhere. Could, take it, could it take me to civilization, or at least to some answers? I'll follow these train tracks for now. WSA indeed a move, and mouse to look around. You got it. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna have to- what is that? Gonna have to adjust some settings here one moment. My mouse sensitivity is set to five. <laughs> uh, that's all right. That'll have to do. So, uh, yeah, just kind of dumped into it, I suppose. We got life. We got muscle or endurance, maybe. It goes down a bit while sprinting, so I suppose we should probably not sprint. And I'm thinking this is end of the line. Okay, yeah, dark is, dark is, dark is very, that was pitch black. Don't think I have a flashlight or anything, do I? We'll, uh, avoid following the tracks for now, just to see what I can see over here. Invisible walls slash mountain goating. Yep, invisible walls. Okay. Understood. Also, not too bad of a jump. A little bit low gravity here. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's do that then. This is like. Just like an invisible wall ramp, by the way. <laughs> Not really following the terrain very well on the edges. I think for the most part, exploring the edge of the map is probably not worthwhile. Each city has its own power system. Activate power generators and batteries, and then you can turn power on. Find all of them inside the control center building. Yeah, okay. Turn on power cells. Turn on power generator, and then power on. Right. No getting into this, uh, without power, I assume. Lookout point for maybe, uh, points of interest or so. Oh, I didn't even try T. Wow. <laughs> Interact with some control panels. Get close to them and mouse. Nice. Doom 3 style. Okay. That's that. I see my flashlight icon... Strobing a bit down there, we... We got like a flashlight battery I gotta worry about, or... A uh, power generator. Dunk. 600 power per minute? That's a lot of power per minute. And then power on. Save the game using the body scanner. Alright. Okay. 
one of three blueprints, so that's going to be a little bit Subnautica style with the blueprints. Have to find, like, the entire set to figure out how to actually do it. Storage key code 5011. Managed to fix the storage room's door, but it was a hassle. Some wires are fried and had to replace them with spare parts. Some useful stuff in there that might help us on our journey back. Had to change key code because everyone knew the old one. I'm going to write down this new one and leave it here. Hmm. I wonder how everybody knew the old one. Ugh. Minus 100 station power to save. Uh, that's all right. We generate power, right? So. Capacity 44, 44.5. Well, yeah, we're good. We're good. And we generate 10 per second through... What exactly? Oh, I guess, I guess solar, huh? Yeah, that, that makes sense. All right. It's a very quiet game, by the way. Not a whole lot of uh, ambiance or anything going on. A little bit of wind noise when I'm outside. Energy drink for some stamina? Sure. Watch a little bit of TV. Unwind. I happen to be a vampire. Don't tell anyone. Let's go downstairs and get that storage thing open. Oh, gosh. Oh, ugh. Ugh. A weird numpad. <laughs> One, two, three on the bottom. Wasn't expecting that. Storage is looking a bit bleak. Strong and rigid material used for printing structural components. Take them both. Smart material. Smart material. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a, just a really thick barrier of air where the doors go, you know? It's like uh it's like a force field sort of thing. Keep keep the outside noises occluded. So we got stuff from storage. I'm wondering if it comes time to build up. I don't think we're building bases like this. I think we're more building stuff onto the train. So probably not a whole lot of reason to leave stuff in storage. Not that it's one of those deals where we can just auto-pull from storage. I assume the train itself has its own specific storage cargo train that we can build and install, and, and that works. Yeah. It's a little bit better. Biogen? Craft energy drinks, foods, and first aid kits. Incredible. I'm going to craft an energy drink. That sounds great. Why did it tell me about that, though? There's no... Biogen there. Raj Ranger. Who is that? Lena, officer. And then Raj. Tomorrow's the day. We're leaving this place for good, but I have to admit, I'm feeling a bit nervous. It's not going to be a walk in the park. We still have a long way to go. We have no idea what's out there and what threats we'll face. We'll have to be ready for anything. It's especially going to be tough for me and Mia. We're the ones who have to watch over the others. And I doubt I'll be able to sleep. Okay, good luck. Call me when you get there. Oh, this is the Biogen. Hi. This absolutely massive thing. One material for Shadow Breeze to make an energy drink. And that's all I know how to make. What is Shadow Breeze? Kai, the researcher. Do you know what Shadow Breeze is? Maybe not, but you do have a blueprint. Engine tier one, part two of three. So we're going to be finding the train, but it can't work because we need to make the engine. But I don't know how to make the engine. So I got to explore to find the blueprints to make said engine. That's gameplay. Oh, uh, hold on. Maybe I can turn lights back on. Yeah. Turns out lights off makes it hard to see. Who knew? Okay. 
I see. I can also press T for take all there. So we are set in this building. I'm assuming the train is over here just in the station. There's still a little bit to look around. I'm going to climb up this and see what this is exactly. Right on up. Okay. I reckon we get something of a map and this is how we reveal points of interest. Or, perhaps even better, it's on me to look through. Do I actually have a map? M. N. K. L. B. Build menu. Robot. Another building over there. Outstanding. So, fall damage. He. Huh. Ah, huh, okay. Workstation. Hey, engine tier one, we got it. So now let's find that train. This is your train. Right now, it's just a few empty wagons, but you'll be able to build whatever you need on it. Needs at least one engine to start moving. Build an engine first. Need to learn the resources it requires. Find the tablets. I got the tablets. Need resources to build stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Engine component. Another blueprint thing for a dynamo. General material will take. Tech scrap and smart material, all sorts of stuff to make said engine. What can I make the engine? Yeah, just here. One component, two smart material. Mm -hmm. And then we got the different screens we can make too, to sort of at a glance. Get some deets. I wonder with 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 that. I quite liked in Space Engineers, kind of a weird example. But Space Engineers, you're like building your ship from scratch, kind of, and you can have these like info screens situated inside the kind of a cockpit view or like attached to the wings or so so that while you're flying the ship in first person you still have these as like a kind of like a heads up display because the ui doesn't by default have that stuff up i quite like that and i wonder if this is going to be doing something like that too mm, yeah build menu got it so this is this is the train then <laughs> right and charge you small batteries using the charger. Ah, there we are. You may want to wait until I'm like... Actually looking at the thing before you pop those up. Slash, about to use them. General materials. General crafting. Fabricator crafting, though that is different. That's different than what I can do. Oh. I'm not too sure why we would do that, but oh. And then Dynamo 2 or 3. And I'm out of inventory space. Oh, uh, no. All right. So let's see about walls then. Enclose the train, protect it during storms. Enclose the train to protect during storms. Windows, protect during storms, and a nice view of the outside world. I want to do windows. Um. Window corner? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Rotate with R. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How, um... How big does the train actually have to be? Can I just like... <laughs> can I just make just like a really mini compartment here? Because <laughs> I don't have a whole multi-story train builds. Okay, so that's I guess what 
would be using the roof, but I don't know how we'd be getting out though if we need the roof open to fit the train in. I guess to help you build from a different angle, maybe? I need more just material in order to do more walls. And I also spend material for smart material, but I don't think I can disassemble smart material into more material. So I guess for the moment, we don't really have walls. We have something happening though, at least kinda, sort of. I'm not sure if I'm really necessarily meant to build like a full on train compartment or what, but there's still a little bit more to check out now that my inventory is basically not full. So we can, we can probably find the rest of what we need. Like a workstation. Sounds promising. Body scanner. And another small, man, I made a second small battery. Now I have three small batteries. Jeez. All right. Not a bad thing, I think. Hey, Shadow Breeze. And scraper, friendly drone, finds scraps around the map and turns them into materials. Ooh. Okay, so you're a friend. Gotcha. Eighteen materials. Okay, we're set. We're good. Aw oh, yeah. Where are you, uh, where are you finding all those, I wonder? 18 material. And a smart material that I can't carry. Uh, all right, I'll be right back. It's a little bit of a pain with a suit battery being drained while I do, uh, building within the station I suspect there ought to be like a way to have like a like a standing pad that you're standing on and can charge up so you can kind of sort of build without having to worry about your suit power too much because I understand that we need suit power so we can't really do like field repairs when push comes to shove like I, I kind of I think I understand what they're going on about with that but uh, we'll see for the moment I got just the three little power cells it's just kind of a a bit of a frustration having to constantly go into the menu and reuse them. I wonder if there's like a like a quick bar or a, like a hotkey I can use for the. So where are you getting the materials from? And can I also get some just from like way up there? Because uh, the snow is really kind of a uh, drudge to get through. <laughs> it really slows you down a bunch. At least sprint jumping seems okay, but it's probably just disaster on my stamina. That's what the Shadow Breeze is for, which I suspect would come back periodically. I gotta double, double check the uh, recipe for the energy drinks. See what we got going on with that. Okay, so I can't harvest that myself, at least not currently, but... We do have other cool buildings here. Materials, two of them, sure. You need a bunch of materials. Another six materials, yeah, fine. Mm, the physicist. Energy drink, yes. I'll actually have that now. It's only 30% of my stamina. Not a whole lot else. Query. All right. Then just another workstation. Constant daylight is torture. Yes, I can darken the windows, but it's not the same. It's still artificial, unnatural, and annoying. We don't have the luxury of a day-night cycle here, but we have to endure it. It's ironic, really. We're living on a frozen planet, but we're stuck in the side that's always facing the glint. We're surrounded by ice and snow, but we're also exposed to the glint's constant light. We're freezing, and our eyes are burning at the same time. Another small battery. 
four of them now. You know, actually, let me check real quick. Maybe there is a hotkey for the... There is not. There is no hotkey for the... I'd like there to be a hotkey for the, the suit battery thing. Generally, anytime the player is being forced to, like, consume anything at, at regular intervals, there ought to be a hotkey for it. Or just, like, auto-use a battery when we get low or, or something for the... I don't know what that is. Curious. I always like sci-fi, because you never really know. Could be anything. Could do anything. I like the not knowing. You can kind of leverage that not knowing and turn it into a little bit of a frightening experience, too, if you so choose. Hmm. I don't think I actually came into this habitat. This is... Habitat number two, apparently. Not sure I came in here. Different names on the doors, like Ava the Medic. Bunch of bad man. I feel dumb for making that battery earlier. Thankfully, they're kind of cheap to make those, so it's not the not the hugest waste ever. And then email. Things have been pretty peaceful lately, which is rare in this world. It means we're not in constant danger of being attacked by drones or other threats, but sometimes it also means we're not having any action or excitement. All I've been doing for the past few months is patrolling the lakeside for any sense of danger, and then returning back to the outpost. It's the same routine over and over again, and it's getting dull. Maybe I'm being too impatient. Maybe I'm just used to all the amazing fights and missions I've had before. Maybe I should be thankful for what I have, instead of wishing for what I don't. Maybe I should enjoy the peace while it lasts, because who knows what might happen next. But I can't help it. I'm a ranger, after all. I live for adventure, for combat, for thrill. It's a bit of a meta note, I think. Ice sickle ammo can penetrate medium armor. It can be used for ice sickle. Yeah. Sure. Why not? I really came here to see about the energy drink. Yeah, one material and four shadow breeze. I hope that stuff comes back. With no day-night cycle, though, I'm not sure at what point that would happen. Body scanner two of three. We seem to be unlocking this stuff in, uh... Mm, kind of like a normal progression tree type thing. Do we have, actually, like a... Like a tech tree or something? I'm not sure. I don't think so. like these blueprint things aren't related to specifically any blueprint it just unlocks the sort of next thing whatever it may be which i suppose is kind of fine it was a little bit annoying and somatic of being like i need to find this arm part number three ah, and you're like really hinging on getting that arm part for like the prawn suit or something <laughs> just like feel like you can't really progress until you finally get it but typically there were sort of regular areas where that type of stuff could be found. It wasn't completely random. Not completely. I'm not really sure which I prefer. I kind of also like being able to sort of hop, skip, and jump around a sort of tech tree and figure out, you know, bits and pieces of further on tech. Give myself something to look forward to, you know? Craft up some energy drinks, charge up my batteries, and then I think we're good to head out and explore a little bit. I got a basic train made with enough storage and everything to get by. Just consuming these flowers that I've got. 14 more. <laughs> That's a, a decent amount. And we're out of basic material now, so... I guess we have some flowers spare for... whatever. Maybe they have another use. How many drinks is that? Six energy drinks. You know what? That's pretty okay. I don't think we're gonna have too much of an issue with that. It's just if there was a day-night cycle, then I could say that, you know, once once per day, maybe they respawn or just like overnight or so. But hey, here we are. Store away. 
the breeze ammo and energy drinks and then smart material in there and then we have six batteries which is a little bit much since they're half a kilogram each maybe we just keep a couple on us and then we're good to go just a simple thing engine stairs into the engine room it's just like a kind of higher up sort of lookout area it's kind of the the idea the intent Ooh. throttle one two three three throttle goodbye basic starter area and hello adventure Ugh. A storm is forming. Temperature will drop significantly. During storms, better to be indoor. Also, you can check the forecast inside the control center's main room. Control center's main room, huh? Well, maybe in the next station. Can I actually, like, see the storm forming? That'd be kind of fun. Be like, oh, well, there's something scary going on up ahead. Bridge and a building over there. Station number two. It's probably a cave or something somewhere as well back there. This kind of weird shortcut pass is a little bit suspicious. Hmm, yeah, I think that might be the storm forming. Oh, hey. Yeah, alright. We just kind of get just a big cloud just kind of forms overhead. <laughs> Alright. Train ran out of power. Oh no, it's like I almost had just enough to get here. Stop working when the train... Until your train gain enough power. Your train will generate small amount of power when the engines are turned off, but you need to build a solar panel to recharge faster. Okay, we're just gliding in. I like that. Alright, hit those brakes. This is decent enough, I think. Yeah, alright. Engine's off. Power. Oh yeah, 50 per minute. That ain't too bad. Mm. Oh, that's very loud. Losing stamina at a much higher rate. Some of the buildings are heated, so enclosed areas are warmer. Oh, yeah. Head into the station. Close this in. Ah. Nice. I like these tiles. Those are neat. I want those on my train. And probably get them. Mm, I suppose I'll save. Sure. I'm not sure if this place has a whole lot of power. Probably look into that first. There's our general map. So it would seem. There's Icicle 1 of 3. Power is online. Currently storm. Ends in two minutes. I wonder if it actually ends in two minutes or if this is a tutorial storm that's actually never going to end. Also, like a bigger storage chest there. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of glad we don't have to deal with both hunger and also thirst. It's just generally stamina. Always, always, always in survival type games where you have hunger and uh, thirst and all that. It's always such a pain at the very beginning of the game, but eventually you kind of just automate it and it just becomes annoying then after a certain point. After like maybe an hour or two, it's really good for immediate tension. But in a game where we've got storms and potentially power to have to deal with, there's other ways that they can kind of put tension on the player early on. So... Happy about that, at least. Received a message from Lena today. She said that the train is on its way and will arrive tomorrow. They'll pick me up around 6, so I should be ready to leave by then. This was written at 6.30. Or... Yeah, 6.30, I think. 
Oh, arrive tomorrow. <laughs> I'm smart. Yesterday, I encountered a few scout drones. I took them out, but I don't think they've been wandering here all by themselves. We should be careful. Mm, these aren't your drones, then. What is... What is that? Oh, hey, storm's over. Nice. Oh. It's so beautiful. First aid kit. So... Powering this, then. I need a mechanical part and two smart material for that. Uh, all right. Next storm in 11 minutes. Andy, I gotta get myself a weather forecast thing. Weather folks seem pretty okay in this game. And that is generally tracking where the weather is and stuff, maybe. Let's see what kind of hazards may or may not lie ahead. There's a mechanical part, and then... What else did I need? Ah, two more smart materials. Whee! Uh, all right, that's pretty quick and easy. That ain't too bad. I would probably want this to be, though, near the actual energy readout for it, though. So I can kind of at a glance see where we're at with that. I don't know if... Does here work? Can I just, like... <sighs> Not really. So let's check out what's up the hill first, then. A little bit of off-the-road exploring. I don't know where that robot was getting scrapped from, either. I ought to take a look at that. Finally out of the snow so we can move at a decent pace. Another small battery. Leave it. I don't think I need more of them. There's two of three for the icicle. I suspect we learn a little bit of combat for the next station. We'll be needing to build a turret of some form then. Since we've been getting a bit of ammo and learning how to make that. More materials. Always welcome. And... That was it? That didn't seem like very much. Hmm. Well, I mean, if you're feeling brave, you can try to go, like, up into the mountains, I suppose, but the game seems pretty iffy with the invisible walls and all that again, so... I'm probably gonna avoid doing that for the time being. It could just be for demo purposes. It's, like, just kind of slapped together a little bit. Very odd following an invisible ramp up a very jagged mountain side. <laughs> there. Because he kind of jump scared me coming around the corner here. There's also only three material in there, and it's been a while since I picked it up, so I think you're getting scrapped from pretty far away. I want to take a look at that real quick. That looks extra suspicious, and I think we still have a few minutes before the storm comes in. It's a rocky floor, not a snowy floor, leading up to a bit of a plateau. Ah, yeah. This looks to be where the drone's getting its scrap from. We've got something here for me. What is that? 
smart material. And just, also just materials. Alright. Well, we figured out where it's getting its scrap from, so there's that at least. Extra little, kind of sort of hidden bonusy area, hidden away somewhere. It's difficult because we're like, slowly turning and stuff, it's kind of obfuscating my UI a little. Under lockdown. Alright. Bump. Okay. End of the line for now. Should be very quickly approaching storm time though. So first aid kit, small battery, bring a drink with maybe two drinks. That leaves us with plenty of space for more stuff. Can I go through? I can go through. Just a train count. Should be like any second now the storm starts. Looks like we got buildings ahead, so we can probably find some shelter. Just a matter of if this place is powered or not. The last one was automatically powered. The first one I had to set up. So this one might not have any power. Locked. Need a code to get into there. Ethan, Ranger. You got any ammo for me, Ethan? Oh, energy drink. Go. Icicle ammo again. I'm assuming that to be some magazines of ammo and not literally just like two shots that I'm finding. Be a little bit pooey if it was just like, here's five bullets. <laughs> mm. Key code. Don't forget it. Don't share it. Six, seven, eighteen. And a weapon chip. I think I might need that to build the icicle. And there we are. Icicle unlocked. Tech scrap mechanical parts weapon chip. Yep, yep, yep. Get me in there. Looks like the shelter alone is enough that we didn't actually have to get this place powered and running. Connect the network. Turn on. Ah, unlock bridge. And also straight up, just turn on power. Just push all the buttons. <laughs> Easy. Go, 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 go. It looks like it can be... Pretty rough before we have to worry. Now nah, it's starting to drain. Someone left the door open. So what are we doing then with also the defense? Oh yeah, the mechanical part. Which was in there. Uh, just the one, right? Because I can only make the one because I need weapon chips, and weapon chips, I'm pretty sure I don't... This is large. Pretty sure I don't make those. But hey, look, we got room here. Just fire forward. You probably like swivel and stuff, right? Oh. Okay. Um... Yeah, that, that, that is, that is a single bullet, that. Great. <sighs> really cool. And fighting in the storm can be problematic then. <sighs> Not sure what we do about that. And that's just having a roof over our head is enough that I could just like wall and roof and see if that's... Depends on what we're fighting. I assume robots. There we go. A third materials chest now. <laughs> For just basic materials, because I'm not sure what we're going to find out there, if much of anything. I'm anticipating it being just a frozen over lake with just a scrap thing for the robots to harvest. Like, like that right there. And that's it. 
uh, maybe cool slip slidey fun things. Oh yeah, nice. We. That's not the biggest slide ever. It's a little bit medium. But all right. Not sure if there's a whole lot of reason to check in. I'm not seeing a storage box or anything next to it, so let's kind of whatever. Just a big lake thing. Probably more out there, but I don't really hugely care. Demo things. Just taking a look at this, really. Which, I'm saying a bit of promise. It, it really gets like Vulcanoids vibes, but with a different uh, sort of atmosphere and different little kind of twist on it. Because Vulcanoids are a little less about exploring around and was more about just kind of dodging and avoiding the other drill ships that are around. And progressing through the tiers that way, where it's like above ground advance a tier, then you go below ground advance a tier, then you go back up above ground to go to the new area that you unlocked with the previous tier, and then you use that unlock to get back down underground into a new area, and you kind of back and forth a lot. It got a little bit repetitive, whereas this is more about just kind of following currently just a literal line through. Not a whole lot of like different directions to go, though I'd assume that you on foot go around and explore. But without being able to free build out and about, that kind of means that everything's got to be within some sort of arm's reach. And I think... Yeah, I think we're out of power just then. But that's alright, because I'm going to stop here anyway. Like, there's only so much you can, you can do. You're sort of limiting yourself without being able to build out and about. So, like, if, if there's no outposts for 20 kilometers or so, it's impossible to get there on foot. There's nothing out there then, you know. There's only so much you can do with that then. But we'll see. See what they end up doing with it. Because it could be that if, if you create an interesting enough area to explore on foot within whatever vicinity of the train we can access. It could be that you eventually get your own sort of equipment to use and you kind of subnautica it where you could go deeper and further out there, but you need the oxygen to do so. So you need to sort of extend your lifeline that way. Currently, we don't really have any sort of equipment or anything, though. Barely survived from a swarm attack that destroyed our train. Luckily, no one was hurt. We grabbed what we could, but it's not much. We only have enough supplies to last a few days. If you're brought at the back of Tim and you're looking for us, we're hiding in a nearby cave. Oh, okay, so there are caves in this then. I assume... Ah, there. I was gonna say, I assume not that. <laughs> Since that's an actual just like train station thing. But, like, imagine if we're always draining a little bit of our salmon because of the generally cold weather. Storms obviously exacerbating that and making it significantly worse. So plan your journeys well in accordance with the weather. But you'd also have equipment that you can put on to prolong existence out there. So you're not really restricted to within, like, 50 meters of your train. <laughs> you can kind of go out further eventually, which means backtracking and re-exploring old areas is, uh, possible. This is very dark. Been stuck in this cave for three days now. Storm is too strong to go outside. Gitty and I managed to salvage some batteries from the drones that attacked us, used them to power a makeshift heater that keeps us from freezing to death. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Also received a message that another train is on its way to rescue us, but they had to take a detour because of the storm. Should be here in a few hours if we're lucky. Oh, first aid kit. Indoor light blueprint. Five icicle, whoops, five icicle ammo. I'm seeing a lot of possibilities for stuff to explore and look at. 
but I'm not seeing any sort of, um, at least currently, it's not like we have to death stranding it where we've got to worry about logistics and like go out there and set up like ropes and ladders and such to be able to mountaineer our way across and explore that way. And like kind of sort of do it in steps because we can only be out there for so long. Definitely something up that way. Depot first though. I see a lot of ways that this could go. I'm not really sure where they're going with it exactly yet. This seems currently like it'd be basic enough that it's not really going anywhere near that. Which would be a bit of a shame. I kind of have concerns regarding the exploration stuff because you can only be out for so long. Until the next storm rolls in. And some areas may be stormier than others. Like, are we going to have in the railway, right? Like a typical railway, you would have also the railway switches. So is there going to be a station at some point? Do we have to set the switch to like which which route we're going and taking? And that's how we sort of divvy up the exploration? Or is it actually just going to be just one single line cutting through? That's the direction we're going. And we can only explore X meters out away from the train in any one direction because that's just how it is. Because we don't have any inventory or anything to sort of prolong our existence out there. I'm really wondering how, how deep the exploration is going to be. Because that seems to be a really big part of this game. Is the exploration. You know, we are getting cold here. Are we, uh... I don't have, like, a heater or anything, do I? Is that better or worse with the engine on? Looking like it might be just one... <clears throat> One big, huge tease. See what I mean with the train at the edge is not really... Yeah, nah. Okay, this is this is nothing over here, man. Disappointing. Um... Yeah, I would hope for there to be a little more mountainous exploration and reason to go up on the mountains and all that. I'd like there to be a sort of, um... Like, when we're on our train, we can do the general building and stuff, but maybe, like, another category for just, like, out and about building for, like, really basic stuff and some basic survival equipment. Because I'm not really seeing a whole lot of reason to really go out and explore because I can't explore much the way that it currently is. It's pretty much just... Let's go to the next station, and we just kind of drive there. Maybe get attacked along the way. And then we explore that station, and learn how to build stuff with the blueprints. And then... We... I want to get a, an outside light. We'll use the blueprints to figure out how to make the next thing. Um, which we're also just kind of going along a line with as well, which is kind of okay because it saves a bit of annoyance but at the same time I know what's coming <laughs> so at the same time it's a little bit a little bit eh uh, others? outdoor light 20 power per minute Jeez. it's like a headlight basically right? does it work that way? hmm Outdoor light on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that kind of works. I think I'd probably have it rather on the corners there. We don't have diagonal rotation, do we? No, we don't. Mm, okay. Oops. 
turn it on, and then brake. Don't make the mistake of just turning off the engine. You glide to a stop extremely slowly. <laughs> and then rate plus 30 per minute. I can leave the light on. Oh yeah, that updates in real time. Excellent. So even with that one light on, we're still gaining 30 per minute with the engine off. Cool. Let's pop a battery. And, uh, see what this is then. It looks like we gotta head over there to open this up. Solar panel tier one. What about the indoor light? Primary power grid no longer connected to the tunnel gate, which is broken. However, managed connected to a battery in the nearby tunnel. If you're reading this and want to enter 87, follow the cable, turn on the battery output. Careful though. Don't want to wake up that scout drone. Scout drone. I'm not sure what we do about the scout drone. It is way dark here. What? This flashlight is crap. Yeah, two turrets here. And two engines. What a tryhard train this was. Yeah, indoor light two or three. Another weapon ship. So we can also have two weapons. Another battery and drink in case we need it. And a cool little table thing. I want a cool little table thing. So that's good then. Then outside the train, above. Think I'm above. <laughs> yeah, alright, not a whole lot going on there then. Well, battery's back on. Don't know why it was off, really. But it's back on now. Hey, there we go. Thanks for playing Heat Death, hope you enjoyed the game, and we'd love to hear your feedback. Yeah. P.S. Haven't found the secret cave yet. Can go back to the game and look for it if you're curious. Not... Really? I think I might know where it is. But, um... Yeah, I got, I got concerns regarding the exploration of this game. Large concerns. It's like... Kind of 80% of the game is the exploration, but there's not a whole lot of mechanics currently that would give an engaging exploration phase to the game. It's very just, yeah, just along the railway. Station, learn stuff, gather stuff, build stuff. Okay, next station, go. Yeah, sometimes there's a storm, so you gotta have the shelter. Are you gonna be caught out and about with the storm suddenly approaching because you didn't have access to weather? Like, what's, what's the worst case example, right? Like, we head out into into wherever, looking for whatever. I don't know how far away we're going, but a storm just kind of hits us and, oh gosh, we need shelter. What are the options? Either find a building nearby or make it back to the train or die. That's it. There's no building out and about. It's not like the storm starts to approach and it's like, oh quick, gather up the basic materials and build a crude shelter and wait it out. It's a very typical survival type thing. Or you just always have the materials for a basic shelter on you. But this doesn't seem to really have that. And I don't know how you would be so far away from the train that a storm comes and you wouldn't be able to make it back to the train. Because there's not a lot of reason to be so far from the train. Everything is always kind of near the train. Man, we drain power fast. Everything is kind of nearby the train because it has to be. Because again, we don't really have anything for increasing our exploration distance, if you will. I'm thinking things like we'd be doing sort of out and about building, like I said, Death Stranding style to explore outposts and such on the mountains, gathering up basic materials from the mountains, getting our own materials and doing the mining. At some point we get like a mining laser or a drill or something so we can salvage the uh, drones when we kill them to get a couple of materials or smart materials or whatever. 
and we can in the mountains and find some of the base resources to start building our own materials and screens and glasses and and all that it's very typical survival stuff that this doesn't seem to have which i don't know if they're planning on doing something new and different with it or if they're planning on just making this extremely basic i don't know it's something to maybe keep an eye on but i don't think this is something that i'm like super hyped to play more of it's very just kind of there i appreciate the demo i like that the demo exists but the demo hasn't really given me a fully fleshed out idea of what they're intending to do